we have the question which says two small bodies of mass 10 kg and 20 kg are kept at a distance 1 meter apart and released assuming that only mutual gravitational forces are acting on them find the speed of the particle when the separation decreases to 0.5 meters so here we have the two masses let at the initial conditions the separation is one meter the mass this one is 10 kg and this one is 20 kgs so after certain time due to the mutual gravitational force the separation decreases as these particles begin to move to move closer and when the separation reaches 0.5 meters then a velocity v is achieved by this one v1 and v2 is achieved by this we are required to find this v1 and v2 so first thing which we need to remember is the momentum conservation momentum con conservation so the momentum conservation says mass velocity m1 in m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 so by this we can write v1 is equal to m2 v2 by m1 so here we have got a relation between v1 and v2 and as m2 by m1 is oh i haven't named m1 and m2 so let me name this one as m1 and this one as m2 so m2 by m1 is nothing but 2 and v2 is to be found out so v1 is equal to 2 times v2 so let me name this as 1 so now what i need to remember is the energy conservation so the energy conservation two things i need to remember one the potential energy and the kinetic energy when no motion has started at the beginning the potential energy stored in this system is minus g m1 m2 by the distance of separation which was one so after the motion has started and they have started to come across each other the potential energy is the potential energy of the system has become this one the denominator is 0.5 because the separation is now 0.5 but here two things which we need to remember is the kinetic energy of particle 1 and the kinetic energy of particle 2 so here we have got the equation so we need to put in the numbers now so minus g m1 m2 if i take this out and if i bring this one this side then this will become this is 1 minus 1 by 0 0.5 so if i take this decimal off i will get a 10 up so i can cut this part and what I will get on this side is minus a g m1 m2 into minus 1 so this is on this side and this is equal to 1 by 2 m1 m1 is 10 into v1 square plus 1 by 2 m2 is 20 into v2 square so this one is 5 v1 square plus 10 v2 square so now i can write this minus minus will get cancelled off so g m1 m2 is equal to 5 v1 square plus 10 v2 square now this is where i will substitute 
the relation from equation 1 which I got earlier v1 equals to 2 times of v2 so v2 equals to v1 by 2 so v1 by 2 whole square so I can write here 5 v1 square plus this will get cancelled out this is basically 4 so this will be 5 by 2 times v1 square so this is nothing but 2.5 so I can write 7.5 v1 square so now from this I can easily solve for v1 v1 is g m1 m2 divided by 7.5 and the square root of this entire thing so g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 m1 is 10 m2 is 20 and we have this 7.5 below after calculating this entire thing what i get is v1 is equal to 4.21 into 10 to the power minus 5 meters per second this is what i get after solving this so now what i have to do is put this in the equation above that is here so v2 equals to v1 by 2 v1 which we have just got is 4.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 2 so solving this i get as 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 5 meters per second so we have found the velocities v1 and v2 sorry v1 is here and v2 is above thank you